all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise video again right okay on today's video i have an urgent urgent message to share with you guys i started recording pretty much immediately after i saw a comment and furthermore confirmations about the most broken ssr character in the game so massive shout out to andrew who is a whale and he who sent that comment as well i sent him the email and i asked him that he makes a tier list okay i want to see what a whale thinks at the end of the day uh, whales are the ones who will know the most about the characters especially in the beginning because they're gonna manage to level up much quicker uh, progress etc i'm a low spender trust me low spender cannot come even close to the real whale okay we are talking difference of thousands and thousands of dollars bro i spent like 200 that's nothing in a gacha game trust me <laughs> okay so on today's video i want to make an updated version or i want to update you with this urgent mes message about the, the most broken ssr character in the game and at the same time i want to explain the rate up list and how it should look like now when we know this type of stuff uh, one big question that i have to ask you do you need a guide for battle of Tri trials i believe that's the name for the floor five uh, with the monster who has like crazy armor etc tell me do you need a guide for that because i already recorded the gameplay but i'm not sure how many people actually need it because it's not that hard it is a little bit harder but nothing special okay but if you use the right characters you can do it without any problem plus you can use the free sr support that will help you so much um okay the breaking the breaker okay anyways let this is not the topic let me go now to this okay so this is an urgent message the most broken ssr in the game is Lim Gyu. okay shout out to andrew one one more time and man, and few more people that mentioned that this should be your highest priority character and on today's video i will explain why okay he doesn't need dupes to work don't worry about that even though he's a whale he's not talking about the dupes the specifically basic character okay so let's talk why in short now and then we're gonna go in more details why lim gyu is the best at the most broken ssr in the game super easy to use um I mean you will have to learn but it's not that hard as melee type of the characters because you need to go really close to the enemy and you need to dash perfectly do the, the extreme evasions and all of that to actually destroy now the big deal about lim gyu is uh, that he can attack from far back he's range type of uh, character um he's using ro okay so of course he's going to be able to attack from the distance um he's crazy breaking character um i didn't read all the descriptions but in my eyes one of the most broken also breaking characters which is super important in the solo leveling arise for example in battle of trials you will um, floor five you will have to use breaking characters to lower the armor so you can actually deal the damage if you don't have them rip but don't worry there is already a free ssr who can do that so even if you don't have this beast you, you're gonna be able to do it again tell me in the comment section below do you need that guide other thing about him is that his uh ultimate when he uses it he is doing insane damage and as well no one can touch him while he uses the ultimate i mean uh, th that's pretty much for every character i would say but at, at the same time still he will do that massive ultimate damage okay now let's go a little bit in more detail you're gonna see what i'm talking about so Gyu fires an arrow imbued with the power of darkness so different type of the damages and he deals dark elemental damage this is of course the basic attack already here he is breaking fire multiple arrows dealing the damage deals uh, dark elemental damage and he breaks lightly okay uh, then another we have here basic skill so that that was basic attacks this is basic skills so shoot and maneuver slides to the side and fires so this at the same time could be like a dodge okay if needed uh, damage 427 of the user's attack cooldown mp consumption deals dark elemental damage and then deals break light damage but don't worry he will have the medium and uh like 
crazy breaking. You will see how it's called. I cannot remember. This skill can be used up to two times. When this skill is used, it activates user's core attack. Uh, then we have a, another breaking, and this one is heavy breaking with only basic skill. I mean only, <laughs> with basic skill. Uh, gathers powerful energy into arrow and sword. Damage 1490% of the user's attack. Cooldown 12 seconds. MP consumption 200. Deals da dark elemental damage. Uh, deals break heavy. This is super important in the trials, you will see. And in many other cases, like... Whenever a time the, the enemy has an armor or even higher defense, this breaking will help you so much. Uh, special skill. He's doing insane damage. Now, this is support skill. Again, breaking medium. Gathers powerful energy into arrow, arrow and strikes. 585% of the user's attack. Cooldown 25 seconds. Deals dark elemental damage. Uh, deals break medium damage. Applies the magic boost. Effect to all allies. So not only he's doing crazy damage. Not only you, you can easily play with him and avoid the enemy. Um, and no one can touch him while he's using the ultimate, right? And also he's breaking like crazy. He's also increasing every ally core attack damage by 15%. QT skill. Break. Another break. Light. Again, jumps into air, shoots explosive arrows. Now, this is the ultimate, sniper mode. So, he goes into sniper mode, cooldown 45 seconds, power guide consumption 100%, deals dark elemental damage. Sniper mode, the user's basic attack changes to become quick attack, Typhon fire. So, now he's changing the basic attacks after the ultimate, right? Yeah, it goes quick attack, quick attack, Typhon fire, and then damage is 1003% of the user's attack. The user can fire up to 8 individual pro uh, projectiles, duration 10 seconds. And then when the airborne burst is used, applies the magic boost effect. Magic boost, when the skill hits, the user fires 3 magic arrows. When the user's magic attack hits, fire 2 magic arrows. Damage, deals damage equal to 50% of the user's attack per arrow. That's like bad. Increase the damage of core attack, typhoon fire, quick attack, everything. So 15%. So he's also buffing himself. He's buffing every <laughs> your whole team, doing crazy ultimate damage. It really easier to fight against the bosses for sure plus you're gonna be able to break them like crazy 100 percent just by reading this and listening to your opinions plus uh what andrew told 100 percent i would agree he is the most broken uh, ssr in the game we couldn't know that in the beginning for sure until you actually start to learning what this game is all about what is really important damage crit breaking like you know, so as we learn more from everyone and by ourselves, we're going to be able to create better and better stuff. Uh, definitely one of the next videos will be the tier list. Hopefully the Andrew will uh, send me the tier list. I would really like to see, show it to you guys, give you my personal opinions. Maybe I would put some characters that I use differently. Okay, now let's talk about the rate up list one more time. Um so he's a must must you need to put him from the get-go please 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 okay he's a must-have character currently uh i have already this um ssr weapon so i i, I can change it please uh you don't shadow skite uh or whatever it's pronounced sorry please uh, don't put it because we get two of those for free one of the best weapons in the game i will definitely I, like, I really want this weapon. Interrupts the target. Knowing how the game works, this seems to be super, super important. So in my eyes... Uh, so in my eyes, this book... Uh, this weapon should be uh, at your wish list. Again, this book also great. Uh, this sword also deserves to be on your wish list. Okay, like I, I can put it like this, like the weapons that should be on your wish list. Whatever you choose, it's on you. You find the right balance, how you want to do it. Do you want to be mainly for the weapons after you're done with the characters or you want to do a mix? It's on you, but definitely aim to get all of these three weapons, bro. Like no joke, aim to get all of these three weapons. And then these two, whatever, I'm not sure how good they are. But for these three, I can guarantee they're broken. And yeah, this one is also crazy broken, but we get it for free. So don't worry, okay? And then from the characters, the highest priorities in my eyes 
are this and then add whoever you want at that fourth spot you can put him or her or I, I see people use it like this this is the character we got for free so i wouldn't put it honestly so uh, you can choose this i would go between this three for the fourth slot honestly but it's on you read the skills and yeah do your own thing but this is i i, I pulled her so I, I i don't need to put her at the wish list so this will be my updated wish uh, rate uh, rate up list wish list whatever you want to call it i want this weapon i want this weapon still i don't have it uh, archer please 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 and this support okay yeah this this will be my updated rate up list and this is the process of thinking you should apply overall and yeah just, just just get him just get him and you're fine bro okay guys hopefully you did enjoy the video we're learning new stuff every day uh, hopefully you did enjoy it love you and yeah see you next one please tell me in the comment section below do you need battle of trials floor 5 guide and 10 i believe i can beat 10 but okay tell me bye guys